क्लास अवर टूडेज न्यू टॉपिक इज ट्रांसपेरेंट ट्रांसल्यूसेंट एंड ओपेक सब्सटेंस सो क्लास वेन लाइट फेल्स ऑन द सब्सटेंस थ्री केसेस कैन अराइज द फर्स्ट केस द लाइट पासिस कंप्लीटली थ्रू द सब्सटेंस सो इन अवर अर्थ देर आर थ्री टाइप्स ऑफ सब्सटेंस द फर्स्ट काइंड ऑफ सब्सटेंस आर दोज बाय विच द लाइट कैन easily pass through those substance in class number second type of substance are in which the light passes partially through the those substance and the third kind of substance are those in which the light does not pass through those substance so depending upon the behavior of the substance towards light they are three kinds so it means class in our earth there are three kinds of substance are there the first is transparent second is translucent and third is opaque substance number first is transparent substance a substance is said to be transparent of light passes through it easily the object can be distinctly seen across a transparent substance the examples are glass air water so class this is the first kind of substance through which light can pass easily through them so this is the first type of substance this is the example of transparent this is a glass sheet you can see that person very easily it means the light which comes from the source it can go through this substance and pass very easily second is translucent substance a substance is said to be translucent if it allow only a part of light to pass through it it means class a very small amount of light can pass through these substance that kind of substance are known as translucent substance the details of an object cannot be distinctly seen through a translucent substance but only a faint impression is seen it means class a very small amount of light can pass through this substance so we are not clearly seen the objects properly ground glass tracing paper waxed paper greased paper these all are the example of translucent substance in transparent medium you can see the clear picture of this boy but in translucent medium a small amount of light can pass through this tracing paper so a very blur image we can see here so now i will show you the example of translucent substance so class if i am talking about the example of translucent substance here you can see these statements very clearly but if i put this class here then you can see you are able to see the statements but those statements has a very blur image in this time so in this kind of translucent medium a very small percentage of light can pass that's why class you are not able to see the statements properly you can see the statements but those has a blur image but if i am talking about now you can see the image very clearly it means between this camera and this statement there is a air and light can pass through air because air is a transparent medium so air is a transparent medium that's why you are able to see this but this is not a transparent medium that's why you are not able to read the statement and third is opaque substance a substance is said to be opaque if it does not allow any light to pass through it we cannot see the objects through an opaque substance wooden screen metallic sheet black paper etc are the examples of opaque substance if i put this copy in front of camera and your book then you are not able to see your book in this time just because class your light cannot pass through this object because your copy or this page is an opaque medium and this is an opaque substance and your light cannot pass through this substance that's why you are not able to see your book any kind of substance which stops light 
that is opaque substance class your next topic is extended end point source of light a luminous body such as torch electric lamp or burning candle emits light and it is called an extended source of light so any source of light is normally known as extended source of light but what is the meaning of point source of light it's very very important class this is your source of light but when you have a fine hole in front of that source of light then your light can come from this small hole so this kind of sources where you have a very small hole this is known as point source of light because it behaves like a point from where your light can come so this is the point source of light and if your candle is inside this box and if there is a fine hole then your light can come outside from this hole so this is again known as point source of light it means you have a source of light but your light can come through a small point source so this kind of holes are normally known as point source of light so a point source of light is obtained either by placing a screen having a fine hole so class in front of your source of light you can place an screen and you just make an hole so this is your point source of light or by placing the luminous body inside a box having a fine hole on one of its side so there are only two condition where you find your point source of light so it's very very important class either you place a screen and make hole or if your source of light is inside the box then you have a hole at least in one side so class with the help of this example we can show you the point source of light class this is a source of light and if i am talking about in this time this is a source of light but if i am talking about point source of light so this is a paper and where i put a hole so class in this paper you can see there is a hole and when your light falling on this paper then your light can only pass through this hole and you can see here class here you can see through this hole your light can pass this hole is known as point source of light you can see your light can pass through this hole so this is your point source of light so class this is your point source of light and this is your source of light for your point source of light you need source of light